Sorry about taking so long on this. We had some unexpected guests for uh, lunch, but I've got three cotton balls. I'm going to uh, break these down and do. I'm going to break down two of them, get it all laid out, and uh, show you what I've got. I've got some ashes. It took me a little time to get some ashes together. I had some outside in a uh, wood pit, but uh, we had a heck of a storm last night, and of course they're soaked. So I had to stop and burn some more fresh wood and get some ashes. Uh, it's hard getting clean ashes, I can see. You know, getting it to burn down nicely. But, I'll be right back. Well, might as well show this. This is where I have a heck of a time trying to figure out how to get that cotton ball. And, uh, you know, teased out, I guess you'd call it. And knowing how far to tease it out and how big to make the cotton ball. But that's kind of what I do. When I feel it starts tearing, I stop. See, I got a little thin there. That's what I, I, I worry about. The first couple times I did it, it was really thin. There's reasons I don't sit on the floor much. See this one I'm trying to tease out too quickly and I can feel that I'm tearing it. That's the reason I have the third cotton ball there just in case. Yeah, see, I'm getting it really thinned out there, and I don't know if that's correct or not. I'm going to go ahead and do another one. Just a second. If there's any technique that you uh, use, I'd sure like to know that, because I have a heck of a time getting this thing teased out to a decent size without tearing it. i got some pretty good sized holes in it. But, uh, let's... I think I'm going to go back with the uh, first one. Um, I'm going to lay that one. I'm going to start rolling at this end. So I'm going to lay that one on the inside. I hope that's correct. Uh, here, let me slide that back just a little bit. I've laid this one on top of that one. It feels awfully thick still in spots. But uh, since I'm going to roll from this end, I figured that should be on the inside so it rolls. Um, something on my ashes. Uh, the other day, I thought about it. The ashes that I used were out of my uh, smoker, and I realized those were from uh, charcoal. And this is from actual wood, so I don't know if that'll make a difference. And I'm really not sure how much to put in. I don't know if that's too much or not, but... See what we can do here on rolling it up. Trying to take a little bit more time. To get it tight there, I jumped a little bit. I can feel that I moved it. Okay. Now, I've seen you with your hands. I've seen you with uh, the board, a couple of things. So I'm still a little confused on that. I'm going to wet my hands. Excuse me. And I, I guess we just roll back and forth. See, it's starting to elongate on me. I don't know if that's supposed to do that. But 
Okay. The wood that I'm using, I hope it's not too uh, rough, but I'm using a pallet board. As you can see, I was actually playing around with it once uh, with a bow drill, but uh, that kind of goes uh, with the question I had. You know, with the bow drill, you see that you have the uh, powder, and you see you have the dust building, or the, you know what I'm saying, the powder of the dust building. And you can sometimes uh, see the smoke and stuff and know that you've got a coal building or an ember. With this, I'm not real sure of when to know that you've uh, succeeded in getting it lit, you know, or igniting it. But uh, see, that, to me, that looks awfully thick. My other one the other day wasn't this thick. I don't know if it's because I didn't tease it out enough, but. My board has smoothed up a little bit since I uh, was rubbing it the other day. But uh, another thing I was curious about, I've seen you go one direction for like 10 times, I can't count it, I guess it was about 10 times. Is that always necessary? And does that, you know, you have to keep it rolling a certain direction? Uh, and then once you start actually rolling it, I'm not too sure about the uh, proper pressure that I should put on it. Anyway, here it goes. Yep. Well, it's sure picking up a lot of dirt. Well, I think that's off the uh, ash from the other day. too much. Okay. Give or take. I don't smoke, but that's give or take the size of a cigarette, and that's fairly firm in feeling. Alright. I hope that I didn't uh, change the direction that I laid that down. I'm not sure. I think that's correct. Yeah. Here it goes. Not sure how I want to do this. starting to unravel on me. I can feel a little warmth, but I feel I'm wanting to run off the side or that one side's thicker than the other. I want to run crooked. I'm adding more pressure now. It's starting to come out the end. Well, wait a minute, what do I got here? Do I have. See, I, I have a tendency to want to open it, thinking that it's burning on the inside, and want to open it to put. Uh, to give it oxygen, and I don't know if I should do that. coming out the end there. It's, see that's barely warm at all. And where I opened it, it's starting to tear and it's really elongating on me. Yeah, the more I hold it, I can feel it getting warmer. Huh. 
carrying more feet. I'm doing about 30 strokes. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my, look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh man. Oh. I, I know that <laughs> beginner's look because I don't have a clue what I did. But I am so happy. But I know that there's a lot of... T uh, of the method I'm not getting. There's a lot of the uh, technique I'm not uh, doing quite right. Woo! Man. I don't know if uh, using the uh, wood ash worked better than the uh, coal ash. But man, buddy, any help you can give me I would be great, I would greatly appreciate. But you don't know how happy I am right now. Uh, the other thing is I think I need to get some place to put this. I uh, look forward to hearing from you, Tim. Thanks.